Hi guys, in this video we are going to learn about GSX which is basically JavaScript XML, that's the full form. So it's an XML like syntax extension to JavaScript that creates React element. So if you remember in our second video in this series, we learned that uh, we can use react.create element and we can create an element for example with a p tag, a p tag or a h tag etc. And uh, we can insert it into the DOM using react DOM dot render method. So there we were using that method uh, and going ahead and creating those elements. JSX will do that for us. So we don't have to write that react dot create element. Okay, so it makes your code human readable. Uh, otherwise, we had to use react dot create element as I just explained to you. Okay, and it gives us the expressiveness of JavaScript along with HTML like template syntax. React documentation which talks about uh, JSX, you can see that this is neither a string nor an HTML. It is called JSX and it is a syntax extension to JavaScript. Okay, so it is recommended by React uh, to describe what the UI should look like and why should we actually use it. Uh, basically, React talks about the fact that rendering logic is inherently uh, coupled with the UI logic. How events are handled, how the state changes over time and how the data is prepared for the display. So instead of, you know, separating those things together like the markup and the logic, uh, you know, separating it from each other, we can just combine these two together with the help of JSX. Okay. So. You can read more about it as to you know what are the exact requirements of JSX, but initially a lot of people, uh, you know, including me, were a little reluctant in using JSX because uh, initially, when you don't know how it works, it becomes a little complex. But uh, as in when you start using it, trust me, it's it's really simple. It's really easy to use. Okay, so I will give you some of the examples uh, which will clear your thoughts on that. So let's get that into action. In the React workshop. Uh, repo if you go to readme you will see that you have jsx examples so this is a branch where i have gone ahead and written the examples for jsx and uh, you can go ahead and clone this repository and just run npm install uh, so i'm just going to do that so i've already cloned this repository i'll just check out to that branch and the branch name is 02 so I conducted the uh, React workshop and I had explained this on the second day. That's why the name is 02 examples. Okay. So this is where uh, you will find all of the examples. Okay. So I'll start with the clean slate. So we have an app co component and inside of the render method, let's say we define a constant and name it as uh, element. Okay and uh, we just write jsx like this h1 okay and then we can say hello world so we can add a string inside of it and just a closing h1 tag okay and now if you want to use a variable like this so this is a constant basically okay so if you want to use a constant like this inside of your return method uh, this is also jsx basically and then you can use curly braces and just put your uh, constant inside of it like this. Okay, so let's just run this server and see how that goes. npm run dev and this is going to start a webpack dev server for us on port 8080. So I already have that open so I'm just going to refresh the page. Okay, uh, I think it's just still loading up. So let's see. Yeah, this one. Okay, so you can see that uh, you have hello world being displayed over there. So if you do an inspect element, ideally what you should expect is you should expect a div inside of which you should see my app component and then you should have this h1 tag inside of this. So let's see. So, so you can see inside of the root you have div which is this div then you have my app component string and then you have this element which is basically this one this written JSX okay now how does it 
do that so what we can do is we can run so if we run this script npm run dev build which is going to run web webpack in development mode uh, it won't start the server we would be able to see what exactly is happening because we want to see how uh, JSX is going to convert this uh, by creating this element using react dot create element so we want to see that in action so you can see webpack is bundled our index.js file and uh, it's bundled to main.js instead of this folder now let's search for hello world you can see here it is right and if you look closely you can see that it's using okay where it's gone okay uh, if you look closely you can see that it's using the uh, create element method it is taken h1 tag and then null which means it's it's you're not passing any of the attributes uh, any of the options basically as props so you don't have any class names right and then you are also inserting the string inside of it right so if you remember in our first tutorial uh, if I had to show you in the branch this was add react in one minute and inside of the index.js we had used react.create element the first parameter was the name of the tag second parameter were the props if you had to pass any attributes like class names etc and the third one one was the string inside of it so that's exactly what's happening behind the scenes so react is make uh, jsx is making our job easier otherwise we had to go ahead and create element like this for every single thing right for every single markup we ha we had to use this method uh, which is not very convenient so this looks much familiar you know it, it gives us a feeling like we are writing HTML uh, so it makes the job a lot easier and because it uh, JSX allows us to use the variables also uh, inside of these curly braces it's even better so let's uh, take some of the other examples also uh, since now you know how you know JSX works behind the scenes it's basically calling react.create element and creates this element for you okay so let's take another example um, so let's say that um, so this was example one let's say example two I hope this is not too big for you okay let's say we have uh, a constant called name and we say Josh Perez okay and uh, we create an element 2 and uh, we create an h1 tag and a closing h1 and inside of this if I want to say hello and if I want to say the name dynamically uh, if I want to pass a variable inside of this how do we do that we already know we can just use curly braces and just put name over here so we can use this variable here okay and now what is being returned over here I can just use it here right now let's check let's just run npm run dev so we'll start a server in development mode webpack dev server okay and while it spins up let's just go ahead and refresh it and sure enough you can see hello Josh Paris because that's what we passed here okay so that's how you can use uh, you know variable to constants uh, dynamically over here okay let's take another example and this time what we're gonna do is we will create a method on top okay so what I'm going to do is outside of render you should keep your methods outside of render okay I will create a method called format name and I'm using an arrow method arrow function okay and it takes a parameter called user and it's going to return uh, so let's say it's going to return some string okay uh, you have something called backtick available so if I want to write a string as well as a variable I can use backtick and after that I can just use dollar sign then curly braces and here is where I can use my variable okay so that's how you can write a string as well as variable you can also put another string over here 
like my super and something human something like that whatever okay you can just like that or I can just put it here human so that's how you can go ahead and add string as well as variables like this okay and now so the job of this function is basically to take a parameter and return this uh, formatted string okay so let's go ahead and call so what 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 if we want to call this method so how do we do that okay so let's understand that so let's take example 3 example 3 and we'll say const element 3 is equal to now uh, it is always best practice uh, that you know if you have multiple lines of uh, markup on the JSX you can use uh, like this round brackets okay so what I can do is I can write like this so I have a div I can also use class remember class becomes class name why because class is actually a reserve keyword in uh, JavaScript hence you need to use class name instead of class similarly if you're using any input element like this then uh, if you have a label that's wrapped inside of this so if I had to take like this label and then you have input like this then instead of for because for is a reserve keyword in JavaScript you'll use HTML4 okay so and I can put uh, name and then I can put an ID over here as name okay like this okay so now for example uh, I want to use this so this was just an example to show you how you can use all of this but I don't want to so that's fine so class name you can just put any class over here so let's say my class and then if I want to go ahead and use this how do I do that if I want to call this method basically so I can say h1 and I can say okay let's keep it in the same line hello and then use the curly braces because I want to call this method to call this method this method belongs to this class app and we know that in JavaScript if I want to access a particular method I can use this keyword which is going to refer to the class basically so if I use this I want to use the method format name I'll just put format name over here and then I need to pass a parameter over here so I will say let's say Imran I'll put my name there and that's it okay and then obviously you need to go ahead and use it here so I can just say element 3 and now if I go back and check sure enough you can see it says hello superhuman Imran okay I'm not super superhuman guys it's just an example okay so <coughs> what happened what just happened here okay so we know that we are, this is all being rendered we already discussed this we're going to talk about this one so what we're doing here is we are going to go ahead and render uh, this JSX uh, this is a div with the class so if you have a look this is a div with my class okay and notice that now it's no longer class name it's class because it's outputted that way okay and even if you want to see that uh, you can see that you have h1 h1 tag right and then you have hello and then you have this method being called the job of this method is to take this parameter which is Imran and then go ahead and return this new formatted string superhuman and then whatever the value you've passed and that is what being what is being returned after hello and again if you want to see that in action you just go ahead and do npm run dev build and if you want to search Imran here we should see that in the this directory let's see okay okay sure enough you can see that this method is being called again create element is being used to create h1 tag and then you know you have hello and then this method is being called etc right cool and then you also had a class my class 
so you can see when this div is element is created which was basically this element uh, remember we had another parameter so just to show you first parameter was the tag name that you want to create so here in JSX we are creating div element so that's why the div is passed okay and the second parameter is the props which is basically if you want to pass any attributes this was props so we pass the class name okay and then all the content inside of it is basically this again there's a create element inside of this so that's how it works okay brilliant uh, let me see what about images okay so let's take an example for and let's create another element element for is equal to okay and this time uh, in fact before we even create another element this time what we can do is we can create an uh, object let's say my user my user okay and uh, let's give it a property inside of this say avatar URL okay and then it just goes somewhere so let's say it goes to HTTPS uh, via dot place holder holder dot com slash one five zero okay so this is my object if I want to use this object how do I do that inside of JSX okay so I'll create an element which will be element 4 is equal to and then I can create an element which is image tag image will always be a closing tag okay and it takes uh, an attribute which is source okay and inside of source if I instead of putting this value uh, like this if I want to use it dynamically so how do I do that okay it needs an all to attribute also let's just put for accessibility I'm gonna just say my image okay so if I want to use this dynamically basically this value which is th the property of this object I can again use curly braces so curly braces are your saviors guys that's that's the way you can use those um, variables or constants so all I can do is just say my user dot avatar URL that's it that's it guys and this will automatically go ahead and render this value over here okay and now if I want to include the element 4 over here and if I just go back and check if I first refresh uh, sorry if I first start a server npm run dev this is gonna spin up the webpack dev server at port 8080 okay so let's have a look so webpack is building okay now to refresh okay sure enough you can see now there is an image if you do an inspect element and as we expect we have an image with the source tag source attribute and then we have this image dynamically placed isn't that brilliant so this will be quite useful it's like you know JavaScript inside of HTML you know you have the your logic as well you have your UI as well together clubbed uh, so it's easy for you to manage okay I remember uh, in JavaScript you had to use concatenation and, and so many things so this makes your job a lot easier this is more human readable so basically uh, JSX just provides a syn syntactical sugar for react.createElement so it creates elements for you and it is so easy for you to see how, how they look like because they, they look like HTML right great brilliant guys so if you did like my video give a thumbs up uh, you can do subscribe to my channel if you have any questions you can leave it in the comment box I will leave the link for the github repository which is this one in the description box you can check that out so in the next video guys you're going to learn about um, state and props okay see you then bye bye